Hey guys, Russell here from Olivet Real Estate. Uh, I've heard a lot of misinformation the last few years from investors as it relates to new construction investment properties where they plan to not pay HST on closing because they plan to say that they're going to live there and sign an affidavit. And when you do that, bingo, you don't pay HST on closing. But this is a bad idea for two reasons. Um, and I'll run you through two scenarios. The first scenario is for someone who is planning to quickly sell the property after closing, uh, say they made a quick profit, so they won't apply for the rebate anyway, so they don't do it. Um, but CRA sees that you claim an HST rebate on closing, they see another closing within 12 months, and that automatically disqualifies you from the HST rebate. So you end up getting flagged and an audit. Um, the second scenario is um, you must keep in mind that now on your personal tax return, you claim your personal residence. So if you already have a personal residence, but you're claiming an HST rebate on a second property saying that you also live there, um, again, this is easy for them to figure out and you end up getting flagged because you can't have two at the same time and then you end up getting audited. So the end result in both of these scenarios is you get a bill from CRA for 24 grand plus interest and possibly penalties. Um, so it's not worth it. So budget for HST for your new construction investment properties. Um, so that's all for today. Uh, if you have any questions about HST or you want to talk investment properties, feel free to reach out anytime.